Hi, this is Larry, and today I'm going to give you a quick uh, overview of the uh, Suzuki Every. And this is the um, K Car Van. It's got 660cc motor. Um, it's turbocharged. Uh, this one is a PZ Turbo. So this is the top of the line passenger version, and it's very coveted. These are not cheap cars in Japan. I mean, they're cheap compared to other cars, but they really maintain their value because they have really good power to torque. Um, anyway, so this is the updated every, and if you take a good look at it, you can see that it kind of looks like a, a Chevy Astro van from the 80s. Um, and to be honest, most of the K cars now kind of follow this. Uh, minivans are very popular in most of the world, and they kind of follow this kind of look where you have the, the nose sticking out a bit and then the windshield to maximize space. And... Um, and uh, usefulness. So, uh, but this one is considered probably the best of the K car vans. Um, and the reason is it's because the engine is very good. Um, it's got lots of power. It looks good and it's got lots of amenities. So, first of all, let me show you something. Uh, it's here's the key. It's got electric doors and on both sides, so I can open up the other side too. And, uh, <laughs> and of course, it's uh, electric. Uh, so, both sides open and then. Um, you can close it too, alleged remotely as well. So it's pretty slick. Um, it's still unfortunate. I think this one is on 13 inch wheels, but usually they're on 12 inch wheels. And uh, and I'll give you a quick tour of the car. We'll walk around. I only have a, um, I don't have a very good lens, so I can't get far back, so you can really see it. But you can get an idea. It's it's pretty good. It's it's boring <laughs> a bit, but um, <laughs> and then, um, and then you can see uh. Uh, the, uh, you know, it's just uh, very standard, but it's, it's maximizes its space. It's as high as it can be for a K car and it's as wide and as long as a K car can be. And, uh, and so you can get an idea of what it's like, and then, uh, you know, it's pretty nice, uh, but it, it goes like stink. So, um, I've driven on the highway and it'll easily do, um, uh, it'll easily do 600 or it'll easily do 85 miles an hour on the highway all day long, um, so, uh, and they're very easy to get more horsepower out of with a, uh, I think they have a software or a chip they can add to it. But here, let me go, um, show you. It's also electric here. And so that'll open. Um, I'll give you a quick tour. By the way, that's a little hood here, but the engine is not in the front. That's just for getting to the wiper fluid and brake fluid and things like that. The motor <laughs> is actually under the front seats. And I'll show you that later. Um, you can see it has a, a pretty standard dashboard. Um, it's got a, you know, a TV touchscreen, automatic um, environment controls. So, you know, your standard pretty nice car. Um, Aircon works great on it. Um, the back seats, now the seats are, the front seats are as far back as they can go. And you still have plenty of room in the back for the passengers. Um, but the good thing about this, because it's a van, the seats will fold completely flat. If you, if I do this, I'll just show it to you later, but you fold the seats and they fit in here. So you can have a completely flat surface in the back and then you can fit things like any other K van, you know, in here. But this one's the passenger version. So it's a bit more comfortable um, and has, you know, better, uh, what's it, uh, you know, um, accoutrements compared to the uh the work version and um and these are even used they sell for a lot of money you know used one like this which is 10 years old um will probably sell for you know uh six or seven thousand maybe eight thousand dollars uh if it's a pz turbo um and uh here let, let me go uh i'll go put this i'll show you that motor first so to get to the motor you got to uh first pull the carpet up here and you'll find a clip here and a clip here and then the whole seat comes back and then you can see that the motor is in here um, and of course the other side does it too so you can get to it on both sides here you can see the alternator and the air box um, and checking the oils over there and um, then you can see uh, you know the turbo and stuff on the other side um, but you don't feel it you don't I didn't I, I thought the motor was in front at first because I couldn't feel it at all so and I'll put the seats down. Okay, so to make the seats flat first, um, a cool thing is the seats actually move forward and back. So you can slide them forward and back by grabbing underneath there. And then, um, so you have to slide it all the way forward. Then you grab here, put it down, and then you there's a little strap you pull here. 
and that unloosens it. And it might, I might not be able to get it all the way because I have the, uh, the, the headrest in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can do it. Almost. It, it, it actually goes flatter, but you get an idea of how flat it can go. And both sides do that. Um, and it won't be so high. It's, it's high because the headrest won't let it go all the way forward. But you can get an idea of, um, you know, you can make it completely flat in here. Um, just by, uh, and then if you want to pull it up, you pull it here and then flip it up and then you can just slide it back. So it's pretty cool. Um, what a kind of cool thing. Okay. So, oh, only one cup holder. That's not true. Flip this down <laughs> and another cup holder flips up, which I thought was kind of cute anyway. And then you flip it up and it goes right in. So it's pretty easy. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll try to get a driving review, but it, they're pretty slick, these uh, new K-cars, you know. Um, uh, with all the space in them now, if you're not going to do much highway driving, these, you know, <laughs> this is all you'd really need. <laughs> so, uh, um, anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. By the way, I just wanted to show you, this is a Daihatsu Tanto. It's not even considered a van. This is considered a mini K-car van, but you can see it's very similar in size. It's just not as tall. But it's also got sliding doors and uh, and the motor is also under the seat. Things um, that are almost identical to the um, to the so, sorry, um, almost identical to the uh, Suzuki every. So uh, yeah, <laughs> so many cars, Japanese cars are now this shape. Um, you know, whether K car, regular car. <laughs>